And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And very excited to be bringing you live action from Ligue 1, the top division here in France. It's Clermont Foot against Paris Saint-Germain. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, given the form he's been in, Stuart, you would expect quite a lot of the attacking to go through Neymar. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Ashraf Hakimi plays with Bernat as fullbacks. Neymar plays with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. Cedric Untonji. Gastia. And on the ball, Bertomier. Moving into the advanced position. But well, he's got past his man. The cross is on. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Gastia. And on the ball, Bertomier. Excellent passing. Did have the ball, but not anymore. Gastia. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Mbappe. But attacking possibilities. Verratti, Mbappe, now Gay, and Neymar, now Messi, and pull back, in it goes, the goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and the finish is really good. Low and hard beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal all round. And so back playing again. PSG with the lead. Ogier, Bertomier, just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Oh, maybe the equaliser! Well, courage has to be part of every keeper's makeup. Well, it's so easy to commit a foul there, but he's got that absolutely right. Nicely timed tackle. And not cleared away properly. Bertomier. This could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance. And really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save.
Trying to pick out a teammate. And the danger still on. Wijnaldum unable to keep it. Well, there you have it. The hosts have had so much of the possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Won it back. Ramos. Wijnaldum now. Messi. Mbappe. Messi. Wonderful vision from Lionel Messi. Full credit. Wonderful stop. Iglesias. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, who wouldn't want to have Kylian Mbappe in their side? Stewart, a key component of his team. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, it's advantage PSG after the first 45, but a long way from being decided. Still, there is work to do. Bertomier. Good strength to keep the ball. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Gastia. And on the ball, Bertomier. Iglesias. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. But then the one that goes astray. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Mbappe. And here's Wijnaldum. Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Untonji. Gastia. Moving into the advanced position. Now sliding in field. Iglesias. Superbly read and executed. It is to be a throw-in. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, those stats tell us that PSG haven't dominated the ball, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Fluency of movement. Messi. Kylian Mbappe. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here we can see it again. And the passing and movement is a joy to watch. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Great goal.
scoring once more. PSG dominant, and it's starting to get out of hand, you just feel. Ronaldo. Here's Mbappe. It is a decent looking attack here. But they dealt with the threat first. And we're inside the final 15 minutes. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And tossing through. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then through a goal, he just goes to the pad and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. A one-sided contest. Four now. There to take it away. Using his physical strength to shield it. Real chance. The well, last gas defending, but brilliant defending. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Well, he likes to run at them. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And breaking at pace with Menace. And he might be through here. And that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. into account all the stoppages two minutes to be added on Gastia and there goes the final whistle it's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned well Derek that just wasn't good enough today a lack of a game plan too many players below par and not enough energy all around the pitch a really worrying performance for me